Each week we introduce you to one of Middle Georgia's most adoptable pets. This Monday morning is no exception to that. I sat down with Macon Bib Animal Welfare's director Sarah Tenen to meet this week's pup in need of a loving home and learn more about the shelter spaying and neutering initiative. This is three year old Ray. He's a men pen mix. Um, very sweet dog. He's traveled a long way. Um, his tag is registered to the Miami-Dade Animal Control. The Sunshine State. The Sunshine State. And uh, how he get to, or how he got to make it, we don't know. Uh, we've sent letters to the previous address of his owners. The phone has been disconnected. Um, we've had him almost three weeks now and we're going to make him available for adoption to find his new home. A very sweet dog who's come a long way, like you said. What kind of home would Ray be best suited in? Uh, Ray would probably be good in a, a more mature home. Not too many kids, maybe. Um, he's very protective mm -hmm. and uh, he's house trained. He rides real good and uh, he needs to be where he's not startled. Um, you know, a lot of traffic coming in, um, but he's a very, very good dog. Okay, and Sarah, remind our folks at home what the adoption process is. I mean, it's a fairly easy process, right? Yes, the adoption process is just come in, fill out your application, bring your ID. The adoption fee, if it's already spayed or neutered, is $40. We have quite a few that are. Um, if it's not spayed or neutered, it's $130. That's $80 for the adoption fee, which covers the spay neuter and your rabies shot. And the $50, which uh, is, a, is a refundable spay neuter deposit. Okay. Yes. Now I want to talk about kind of the, the, I mean, obviously it's important to adopt, but how many animals do you have at the shelter right now that are in need of loving homes? Right now we have 60 animals that are in need of loving homes. Dogs and cats? Dogs and cats. We have two cats and the rest are dogs, 58 dogs. Wow. And of that 58, really 50 of them are available for adoption. And that's a very high number for us. Um, that means we're full and we need, uh, we need as many people that is willing and ready to take that responsibility to come out and help us. Adoptions on the backside uh, and pulls from the rescue is what help us to reduce the number of healthy animals that we may have to euthanize. On the front side is spay and neuter. Right, okay, yeah. and t speaking of spaying and neutered, there's an initiative taking place right now right to help now. folks get their animals spayed and neutered. Tell us about that. Yes, um, uh, Make and Bib Animal Welfare is the recipient of a, a PetSmart grant, and for the zip code of 31201, you can get your animal spayed, neutered, rabies absolutely free. Very simple process, just come into the shelter, bring in your driver's license proof of, proof of residence. We will schedule you an appointment and you're through. I mean, you've got to take advantage. You've got to take advantage. And the sad part, not as, not many people is, uh, you know, are doing that. Um, we had the opportunity to go door to door uh, this past week and some people was just, I don't want to have my, my pet spayed or neutered. And you know, we tried to talk to them about what happens, the litters, but that grant is available. And to get more information on how you can adopt or just to get more information on the spaying and neutering initiative, you can call Make and Bib Animal Welfare. Their number is 751-9200.